So we're now ready to throw everything together. We have three rules of differentiation, the chain rule, the product rule, and the quotient rule. We now know how to differentiate sine, cosine, e, tan, and ln of x. And so now we're going to throw it all together and we're going to go through these five examples here. So let's look at number one. y is equal to e to the 2x times sine 3x. And because we have a function of x times a function of x, we're going to use the product rule. So dy by dx is the first, so e to the 2x, times by the derivative of the second, which is 3 cos 3x, plus the second times the derivative of the first. So sine 3x times e to the 2x differentiated, so 2e to the 2x. So, to simplify this, we have 3e to the 2x cos of 3x plus 2e to the 2x sine of 3x. Okay? And that would be the answer to the first one. So, the second one, we have e to the 3x over 2x minus 1. We're going to use the quotient rule for this one. So we have the bottom, so 2x minus 1, times by the derivative of the top, which is 3e e to the 3x. Take away the top, so e to the 3x, times by the derivative of the bottom, which is 2. All over the bottom squared. So now we want to tidy up the numerator. So we have 2x times 3e e to the 3x, so 6 x e to the 3x, we have minus 1 times 3 e to the 3x, so minus 3 e to the 3x, and we've got a minus 2 e to the 3x, so in total that's minus 5 e to the 3x. And then I've got this 2x minus 1 squared in the denominator, okay? And that would be number 2. So, number 3. We have e to the 4x plus e to the 2x, all to the power of 5. So we actually have a couple of functions in here of x, which I'm going to use chain rule in order to differentiate. But I've got one function of x here, one main big function of x, inside another. And so I'm going to use chain rule to differentiate the whole thing in one go. So the 5 will come down to the front. The derivative of what's inside comes outside, so we'd have 4e to the 4x plus 2e to the 2x, and then I'm going to be left with e to the 4x plus e to the 2x, and now to the power of 4, so I take 1 off the power. So if I simplify this, I could multiply through by 5 into that bracket, I'm not going to, I'm actually going to pull up out a factor of 2 here, I think. Um, so I'm going to have 10 2e to the 4x plus e to the 2x times e to the 4x plus e to the 2x to the power of 4. Okay? And that's how I'm going to leave that one. So that was number 3. So number four, we have y is equal to sine of e to the x. So we're going to use the chain rule here, because we have a function of x within another function. So the derivative of what's inside comes outside, that's e to the x. Sine differentiates to cosine, so we have cos of e to the x. Now, if you're not so sure about that one, you could use the long-winded approach to chain rule with u is equal to e to the x and y is equal to sine of u. Okay? And make sure that you get the same thing. Number five, we have y is equal to log of 2e to the 6x plus sine x. Now we now know that when using the chain rule for this, we could just write that as the derivative of what's inside 
as the numerator of the fraction. So we have the derivative of 2e to the 6x will be 12e to the 6x. The derivative of sine is cosine. And that's over the original function inside. 2e to the 6x plus sine x. And that's how we would differentiate number 5.